Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Granada Boulevard Project Public Meeting. During the meeting, we will present information on the department's plans to improve safety and enhance operations through this project corridor. We encourage your feedback, and during the presentation, we will provide multiple ways you can submit your questions and comments to us about this project. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. A copy of the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com slash project slash 447 105-1. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or by email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on the sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. FDOT is proposing resurfacing and safety improvements on Granada Boulevard, or State Route 40, from US 1, or Yon Street, to State Route A1A in Ormond Beach. The total project length is approximately one and a half miles. The area along the corridor is made up of numerous retail businesses and restaurants, as well as residential condominiums. There are four parks within the project limits located in each corner of the Granada Bridge, including Casson Park, Bailey River Bridge Gardens, Rockefeller Gardens, and Fortunato Park. Additionally, there is beach access at the end of the project on the east side of State Route A1A. With these amenities, there are a number of residents and visitors crossing Granada Boulevard to get to their destinations. There is currently only one mid-block crossing within the project limits and none located east of the Granada Bridge. The purpose of this project is to repave this segment of Granada Boulevard to improve the travel surface and extend the longevity of the roadway. The project also recommends improvements to enhance pedestrian safety and encourage safer driving speeds along the corridor. Proposed improvements include milling and resurfacing Granada Boulevard within the project limits, with the exception of the Granada Bridge where no improvements are proposed. Upgrading the existing signals with new mast arms at Ridgewood Avenue and State Route A1A. Help encourage drivers to reduce speeds by creating small deflections in the roadway alignment, narrowing lanes, and adding raised crosswalks at mid-block crossing locations. Improve pedestrian safety and mobility with upgraded curb ramps and intersection lighting, and add three new mid block crossings and upgrade an existing mid block crossing within the corridor. The proposed typical section will provide two 10 foot wide travel lanes in each direction and 12 to 20 foot wide median along the project corridor, which varies between raised curbed islands and two way left turn lanes. The existing sidewalks and existing parking will remain and all improvements will be constructed within the existing right-of-way. The three new pedestrian crossings are proposed at Washington Street, 
east of Vining Court and west of Bovard Avenue. This project also proposes upgrading one existing mid-block west of Beach Street. All of the crossings will be equipped with an overhead pedestrian hybrid beacon, or PHB. When a pedestrian activates the PHB, the signal will display a red light to stop traffic and provide a protected crossing interval for the pedestrians. The crossings also will have overhead and in-road lighting to help increase visibility and raise crosswalks, which will encourage drivers to reduce speeds. To increase driver awareness at mid-block crossings, a pedestrian hybrid beacon will be installed at all mid-block locations within the corridor and will include overhead lighting. To use a PHB, pedestrians press a button to activate the signal and flashing yellow lights, followed by a solid yellow light, alerts drivers to slow down. Two solid red lights require drivers to stop for pedestrians crossing the street. Pedestrians should only cross the street if the walk signal is displayed and when vehicles have stopped. Once the overhead beacon flashes red, drivers may proceed with caution if the crosswalk is clear. For more information about PHBs and other safety strategies, please visit alerttodayflorida.com. In addition to pedestrian hybrid beacons, raised crosswalks with in-road lighting are also proposed at three of the four mid-block locations along the corridor. The locations are west of Beach Street, east of Vining Court, and west of Bovard Avenue. These raised crosswalks are intended to improve driver awareness and encourage drivers to reduce speeds along the corridor, thereby improving safety for pedestrians. The proposed in-road lighting at raised crosswalks will further enhance pedestrian safety by improving visibility of the crossing and increasing awareness of a crossing event. To improve safety at Washington Street, this project proposes to change the existing full median opening to a bi-directional opening. Vehicles on eastbound or westbound Granada Boulevard will be able to turn left and right onto Washington Street. However, vehicles on Washington Street will only be able to turn right onto Granada Boulevard. The new median enhances safety by reducing the number of potential conflict points where vehicles could potentially cross paths and collide. Additionally, a mid-block crossing with a pedestrian hybrid beacon will be added at this location. East of Vining Court, a directional median opening is proposed which allows for left and right turns from Granada Boulevard to local business driveways. However, vehicles exiting the local business driveways will only be able to turn right onto Granada Boulevard. This location will also have a mid-block crossing with a pedestrian hybrid beacon for improved driver awareness of the crossing. The median also improves safety for drivers by reducing left turn conflicts and provides a refuge area for pedestrians crossing Granada Boulevard. The design of this project is estimated to be completed in spring of 2023 with a cost of about $1.36 million. All proposed improvements will be constructed within the existing right-of-way. Construction of the proposed improvements is estimated to begin in summer 2023 at an estimated cost of about $5.38 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by August 23rd, 14 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. Those attending in person are invited to ask questions and share feedback with the project team during the open house. To submit a comment for the project's public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads dot com slash project slash four four seven one zero five dash one. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at ty dot garner at dot dot state dot fl dot us or by US mail at the Florida Department of Transportation 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida 
386-942-32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5299 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 447105-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by August 23, 2022. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at www.cflroads.com slash project slash 447105-1. Thank you and have a good evening.